Hey everyone, this is Ben Hansen, UAP researcher and TV host. So I have an exciting announcement today. As most of you know who follow my UAP reporting, I sometimes get on my soapbox and stress the importance of gathering good UFO, or now we're also calling it UAP data. I estimated this once and found that less than one in 450 people who witness a UFO event ever report it to an official organization. I always point out that there are probably several reasons for this. Number one, many people don't know where to report. There are a few well-intentioned non-government organizations that have collected UAP reports. Uh, they continue to do so, but they lack a lot of the resources to manage the database and, and make it useful for researchers. But the average person doesn't even know that these organizations exist. Yes, the government has had UFO study projects like you know, Project Blue Book, um, but they've never promoted a central location where people can go to make their reports. So most people kind of feel lost and don't know where to go. Number two, if you had an incredible sighting, what would cause you to you know, hesitate reporting it? Would you call the local police? Unless it was you know, possibly a drone flying where it's not supposed to, there probably isn't much they could do about it. And if you're a pilot and you see something, you can report it to the FAA but I've addressed the gaps we're seeing in the in most reports are not even being you know, cataloged there. So what about a local UFO investigation group? Or would you be worried that the case would be going public and your name being associated with it? I think a lot of people are still really worried about the stigma of reporting UAPs and not wanting to appear crazy. And number three, another reason I think most people don't report is because they don't really think it will make a difference. Well, I'm here to tell you that it does. We can't get an accurate picture of how widespread the phenomena is unless people are, are taking uh, the time to report it and we're talking about it. And by talking about UFOs and reporting them, it helps others know that they're not the minority and that they're not crazy. So for the first time and maybe forever, we have world governments taking the issue seriously. We're breaking down the walls that academia has built up. They've generally refused to study the topic, you know, in a meaningful way, but we need raw data. We need a central collection point where we can analyze the patterns and trends of the sightings, you know, if we're really going to solve this mystery. So I do encourage everyone to make UAP reports. I kind of feel like it's a, a civic duty and you're participating in one of the greatest explorations of human history. Because of these reasons, I'm excited today to announce that I partner with a new organization called Enigma Labs. Now the group is not a government agency, which is in a lot of ways a good thing, because we're still able to access the information and manage it very well uh, for research. But instead, Enigma is made up of some really smart techie people uh, who are developing some really cool apps and tools that will make UAP reporting easier and more useful. You'll see some of these releases coming out in the near future. But as for today, as part of this new launch, I want to share with you this website. I wanna encourage everybody, your brothers, your sisters, your mom, your dad, your grandma, hairstylist, waiter, pilots, police officers, everybody and anybody to make your UFO reports there. Share the link on social media, any forums where you talk about this kind of stuff and refer others to it as well. So you're probably asking yourself, well, what happens to your report after you submit it to Enigma? Well, as many of you know, my current website, ufowitness.tv already has a UAP submission form. That's the get us reports we may follow up on for TV shows or my own personal investigations here on this channel. I still check that website for submitted cases if we're specifically looking for info on a report we're doing. But I really want to encourage you to use Enigma's website for pretty much all UAP reporting. Now in my partnership with the group, I've made sure that I still have access to the data and the ability to personally view every report that comes in because I don't want to miss any of the great cases that we've been getting. But we'll also have a whole team of staff filtering through the highest priority cases and they'll bring those right to my attention. Now, one of the key reasons I'd also like everyone to use Enigma is because, well, my own reporting system is becoming quite overwhelming. Uh, I get hundreds of cases every month from around the world, and I really wanna make sure there's a database that will preserve those reports, uh, make them easily searchable so we don't miss anything. So the techie people, what they do is take sort of a Google-like approach and they index the UAP data, and then they're gonna scrub it of all of the identifying information and make the raw data available to academics and other researchers who need it. So when you go to the Enigma website, you have the option of making your report completely anonymous. So you don't have to supply your contact info, your name, any of that. 
But if you do provide personal details, Enigma takes privacy still very seriously and they're automatically going to redact all of your private info, your address, medical details, et cetera, before sharing the raw data with researchers. They're interested in the facts of what you saw and the circumstances surrounding your sighting. You can also upload any photos or videos you might have. We don't care if UFO sighting happened today or 50 years ago. We just want you to report it. Now, in some cases, they'll have the ability to combine your report information with other sensor data, such as satellite imagery, radar, infrared images, if it's available. The goal is to make this info available to study uh, the trends and the findings that could possibly influence public policy and the direction that we should be heading for scientific discovery. So your report contributions are highly valuable. So a few more things about Enigma. This would not be the place to submit your theories on the phenomena or to contact me for any other reason. It's strictly a UAP reporting database where you can be assured that there's no judgment, there's no agenda. The Enigma staff take a neutral approach to the UFO subject. So they stay away from engaging in conspiracies or really forming an opinion on most of the cases for that matter. So uh, they're also comprised of a mostly full-time paid professionals far smarter tech people than I am, but they rely on people like myself who've been doing UAP investigations for quite a while, you know, in order to determine if we need to do some follow-up on a particular case. So like I said, um, I'll be reviewing the reports as we get going, and my goal is to soon have greater resources that will allow us to do some field investigations, um, to take deep dives into some of these exceptional cases. But for now, we really want to get the word out that we now have a fully staffed organization ready to centralize reporting and to fix a lot of the problems we've previously had in this important research. So I look forward to bringing you exciting new information from the group about our projects as they roll forward. You know, I've been receiving a lot of reports, especially from pilots. So I'm also gonna be sharing a lot of that with you very soon. Until then, stay tuned and let's really open up the floodgates with UFO reports.